So welcome everyone. My name is Leslie Wolf Kreutzbad. I'm Executive Director of the China US Women's Foundation. I'm so pleased to have with me Dr. Melinda Wolf, our healthcare director, who is uh, giving us important information about conditions that impact women's health. Today we are going to talk about uh, nutrition, which is a big topic, but it impacts so many uh, conditions for women. So we wanted to kind of understand the importance of nutrition and some of the things that women should think about uh, for their health. Hi, Dr. Wolf. Hi, Leslie. Thanks for being with us today. Could you tell us a little bit about how you think about nutrition for your patients and why it's so important? We all know that it's important to have balanced diet, but how we define the balance in our diets changes from person to person and from year to year. So much is new in the understanding of the differences in the kinds of sugars that we eat, the, um, the richness of our food that has vitamins and um, nutrients, but we also understand that with changing environment, there is the depletion of our soil, and often what we thought we were getting in nutrition actually is not is no longer true. That's interesting, and I also um, learned that um, all this um, hype about non-fat sometimes that's actually counterproductive because we do need some fat in our body. Yes, we do. Isn't that right? It's so true. We have for years and years always thought that eating fat-free was going to keep us healthy, and yet we know that eating fat does not make us fat, and that eating fat-free starches such as bread and pasta and cereal actually raise our sugar levels and our insulin levels and create belly fat. So we're learning a lot in, in recent years. Right, and I also um, have learned to monitor um, sugar content because you may think you're getting like non-fat, but if you're getting a lot of sugar in these products, that really is not healthy. So, so many things for us to learn and talk about in the future. Um, I'd like to just discuss quickly, when you um, have a patient, what do you uh, want to know from them and what should our listeners um, monitor about their uh, food intake and nutrition in order to communicate to their doctors about what could be going on with their bodies? The um, most important thing is to actually tell, for me, to understand what a patient is eating. And so I'll ask them, to um, write down their, their meals, everything they eat for a week. So often that allows them to see what it is that they're taking in, but the, strip, the focus has to be on um, regular meals and eating small frequent servings throughout the day because often people will skip their meals because they're not hungry and then at the same time find that they're they're actually more tired, their mood is, is depressed, they're not thinking as clearly, and they really have no understanding that often a low blood sugar can create all of these symptoms in a very subtle way. So it is really important to, for a person to write down, keep a food diary, and then to educate themselves, go online to understand the importance of the different food groups of protein and certain sugars are good and certain fats are really important and then to um, discuss with the doctor all of the issues that are bothering them and um, at the same time understand that nutrition and good nutrition is key for wellness. Um, wellness is a, a topic that we will discuss more in the future um, and I just want to um, end this uh, blog with just a reminder that um, the China U.S. Women's Foundation believes that good nutrition and wellness is really one of the key components 
of a healthy body and we want to share with you our insights and Dr. Wolf's um, good suggestions. So this is an area that we will continue to focus on going forward. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you'd like more information about nutrition or other conditions uh, for women, please go to our website, ChinaUSWomen'sFoundation.org. See you soon.